Ever wondered which insects pack the deadliest punch on our planet? Well, you're about to find out. Our world is teeming with a myriad of insects, each unique in their own right. Among these countless species, there are those that have earned a notorious reputation for being, well, deadly. These are the creatures that command respect, not for their size or strength, but for their sheer, lethal capabilities. Their impact on the ecosystem and on humans is profound, shaping our world in ways we often overlook. They can be protectors of our environment, essential players in the circle of life, yet they can also be harbingers of diseases, causing untold suffering and loss. The reasons behind their lethal reputations vary, from venomous bites to disease transmission, making them formidable opponents in the struggle for survival. Ready to meet these lethal creatures? Brace yourself as we delve into the world of the deadliest insects. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Here we go. At the top of our list, we have the mosquito, a tiny creature with a mighty reputation. These small insects, most of which are smaller than a penny, are some of the deadliest creatures on Earth. Their lethal potential comes not from their size, but from the diseases they carry and transmit to humans and other animals. Mosquitoes are found in almost every corner of the globe, making them a universal threat. They are especially prevalent in tropical and subtropical regions, although they are not exclusive to these areas. With over 3,000 species worldwide, the diversity of mosquitoes is quite astonishing, yet it's only a handful of these species that are responsible for transmitting diseases. The reason mosquitoes are so deadly is their feeding habits. Female mosquitoes need blood to reproduce, and it's during this blood meal that they can transmit diseases. They are vectors for a range of harmful pathogens, including viruses, parasites, and bacteria. The most notorious of these diseases is malaria. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people die from malaria, mostly children in sub-Saharan Africa. Malaria is caused by a parasite that the mosquito carries and transmits to humans through its bite. Similarly, dengue fever, another mosquito-borne disease, infects tens of millions of people annually, leading to a high number of hospitalizations and deaths. But it's not just human life that mosquitoes impact. They affect entire ecosystems. When mosquitoes transmit diseases to wildlife, it can lead to population declines and even local extinctions. This can have a ripple effect throughout the ecosystem, affecting other species and the environment as a whole. Despite their small size, mosquitoes are a force to reckon with, proving that size doesn't always matter. They remind us that the deadliest creatures aren't always the biggest or the most fearsome looking. Sometimes they can be as small and as commonplace as a mosquito. Next up, we have the Setsi fly, also known as the silent killer. These minuscule creatures, often no larger than a common housefly, pack a deadly punch that belies their diminutive size. Native to Africa, tsetse flies are a force to be reckoned with in their home continent, having a significant impact on both humans and the ecosystem. Tsetse flies are not your average, everyday flies. They are distinguished by their forward-leaning stance and the unique sword-like proboscis they use to feed. But it's not their appearance that earns them their deadly reputation. Rather, it's the microscopic parasites they carry, known as trypanosomes, that can cause African sleeping sickness in humans and animals. Let's delve a little deeper into why these flies are so feared. When a setse fly bites a human or an animal, it can transmit the trypanosomes. These parasites then multiply and spread throughout the body, leading to a range of symptoms from fever and headaches to more severe complications like neurological problems, and if left untreated, can even result in death. The impact of these tiny terrors extends beyond the immediate health threats they pose. Their presence in large numbers can disrupt agricultural practices and have a detrimental effect on livestock, leading to significant economic losses. This is because areas infested with setse flies are often abandoned, leaving vast swathes of fertile land unused. Despite their deadly nature, setse flies play an integral role in the ecosystem. They help control the population of certain species, acting as a natural check and balance in the environment. However, their benefits do little to offset the harm they cause. 
Efforts to control and eliminate set sea flies continue with varying degrees of success. These range from trapping and pesticide use to introducing sterile male flies to disrupt breeding. The tsetse fly's lethality serves as a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk in the smallest corners of our world. Yet they also underscore the intricate and often perilous balance of life on Earth. Even the smallest creatures can have a profound impact on their ecosystems and on us. Moving on we encounter the killer bees, a venomous threat buzzing with danger. These creatures, known scientifically as Apis mellifera scutellata, are a hybrid species of the western honeybee. They've earned their ominous name through their aggressive defense of their hives and their potent venom. Killer bees are fascinating creatures. Unlike their more docile cousins, these bees are quick to anger and swift to attack. If you happen to disturb a killer beehive, you may find yourself pursued by a swarm of these determined defenders. Once provoked, they can chase a person a quarter of a mile, a relentless pursuit that emphasizes their protective instinct. Now let's talk about their venom. While a single sting from a killer bee isn't much worse than that of a regular honeybee, the true danger lies in the sheer number of stings one might suffer during an attack. A swarm of killer bees can deliver thousands of stings and it's this accumulation of venom that can prove deadly, especially to those allergic to their toxin. But it's not all doom and gloom. These bees play a critical role in our ecosystem. As pollinators, they contribute to the growth of plants and the production of fruits, vegetables and nuts. They also serve as a food source for various birds and insects. Their role in the food chain and the pollination process is a reminder of their importance despite their lethal reputation. However, the aggressive nature of killer bees also poses a significant threat to native bee populations. They are known to invade and take over other bee colonies, which can disrupt local ecosystems and biodiversity. Their spread has been a cause for concern and a topic of ongoing research. Killer bees, with their potent venom and aggressive behavior, remind us of the delicate balance between humans and nature. Their story is a stark example of how even the smallest creatures can pack a significant punch and how our actions can ripple through the natural world in unexpected ways. Last but not least, we have the fire ants, a hidden danger beneath our feet. These tiny creatures often overlooked are a force to be reckoned with. Fire ants are known for their fiery red color, hence the name, but it's their fiery nature that truly sets them apart. Fire ants are not your typical picnic pests. They're far more menacing. Fire ants are native to South America, but have spread across the globe, establishing colonies in new environments and proving to be quite the invasive species. And when we say colonies, we're talking hundreds of thousands of ants, all working in harmony, ready to defend their queen at a moment's notice. The danger of fire ants lies not just in their numbers, but in their venomous stings. Unlike other ants, fire ants don't just bite, they sting, injecting a venom that causes a burning sensation, much like being touched by a flame. The sting of a fire ant is not only painful, but can also trigger severe allergic reactions in some people, leading to difficulty breathing, rapid heartbeat, and in extreme cases, even death. But why are they so aggressive? Well, it's all about survival. Fire ants are fiercely territorial. When their colony is threatened, they swarm out in large numbers, attacking the intruder with relentless stings. It's this aggressive nature that makes them a significant threat to other insects, small animals, and unfortunately humans too. Their impact on the ecosystem is also substantial. As an invasive species, fire ants can outcompete native ants and other insects for resources, disrupting the balance of the ecosystem and causing significant ecological damage. Fire ants, although tiny, pose a significant threat, reminding us that danger often comes in small packages. So next time you see a mound of loose soil in your garden, tread carefully. It might just be a fire ant colony ready to defend their home. As we wrap up our journey into the world of the deadliest insects, let's take a moment to reflect on the fascinating yet terrifying creatures we've discovered. We've seen the lethal nature of mosquitoes, the world's deadliest animal, responsible for millions of deaths each year due to their disease-spreading bites. We've explored the equally treacherous world of tsetse flies, whose deadly sleeping sickness has plagued Africa for centuries. Then there were the killer bees, 
whose aggressive nature and potent venom make them a formidable force to reckon with. And let's not forget the fire ants, whose painful sting can cause severe allergic reactions and even death. These tiny creatures, while deadly, play significant roles in our ecosystem. From pollinating plants to controlling pests, their existence is crucial to maintaining the balance of nature. Remember, these small yet deadly creatures play vital roles in our ecosystem, and understanding them helps us coexist in our shared planet.